Hey everybody, hello! How are you doing? How was your day? My day was fine. It's Friday! Yay! Friday, it's payday. Yay day! So there's that. Thank the, the Lord it's Friday. Okay, all kinds of things happen today. And I hope all of you are doing well. I, I don't know. I guess I'm not doing so well. So let me tell you what happened. Well, first of all, some good news. I got some Valentine's in the mail today. I got a Valentine from Crazy Mimi. Yup. If you're not watching her channel, please watch it. But she sent me this beautiful bracelet and matching earrings that I'm wearing. And she sent me this really cool personal safety alarm it's heart shaped it's a keychain super loud and 125 decibels so no i am not going to uh pull it and demonstrate it and then it says um although there are the buttons i'm i just i'm tempted to push a button but don't push the button i've got luna right here with me and i don't want to where are my glasses? Hold on a second. There, I think it's got an LED. Okay, push the red panic button to sound the alarm instantly. Push the red button again to stop the alarm. Press and hold the white button to use the LED safety light. And release the white button to turn off the LED light. Where's the safety light? I'm pressing it. Oh, I see it down here. Wait, I was there was a little light down here. I don't want to press the red one. Oh, there's the light. Okay, and then press it to turn it off. Or did I turn it off? I don't know, but it's 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 a cute keychain and it's loud and yes, I really actually kind of need this where I live. I live in a suburb of a very dangerous, dangerous, dangerous city. And it says Bling Sting is the brand. So thank you, Crazy Mimi. Yup. And then I got a Valentine from Favorites with Laura. And she sent me this t-shirt that made me laugh. And it says, I love Liam on it. Now, that would be Liam Neeson in my case. I don't know. I think there's a, what, some young youngster named Liam, right? That all the little kids love or whatever, or the younger folk. Not the little kids, but the younger generations. But for me, y'all know who I'm talking about. Liam the Hell Neeson. Okay, so that was exciting. And then... And then we're going to haul this big bag, and then I have another bag behind me. I don't know how that's going to go. This bag might be enough, but because then I went to Walgreens, and here's my Walgreens haul. Are you ready for this? The first thing I got at Walgreens was an Azo urinary tract infection test. As you can see, I've already opened it. And it turned all the colors of the rainbow. So, yes. So, I called my doctor. I've got an appointment Monday to go in and get one taken at the doctor's office. And then um, I'm going to get a lot of blood work done, too. Because my leukocytes were really, really high on this. But the nitrites were not um, in fact, they might have been normal. So, my body is fighting off something, but not quite sure what's going on. So, we're going to figure it out. But then I also got this stuff, you guys. Um, urinary pain relief. Cheese. <laughs> and uh, it's a urinary tract analgesic. And sure, yeah, I took two of these and it helped. Um, I didn't feel any sense of urgency today or anything like that. It did turn, you know, everything that came out, it turned it bright red. And I'm glad I caught that and read it on the box. So that would have given me a friggin' heart attack. 
The first time I did use the restroom, it was just like a sea of red that I haven't seen in a couple of decades. So that was startling, but that's what I got at Walgreens, you guys. And um, I got some Benadryl because I always need Benadryl. Okay, that was my day. So yeah, I'm going to the doctor Monday to get some blood tests and some, uh, but I can't, I couldn't get in to see the hot one. I get, in fact, the only nurse, oh, the nurse that was available to see me Monday is the one who's always trying to take away my drugs. Um, she always wants to take away my Xanax. I've been taking it for 10 years. She's going to have to take it away over my dead body. And she's always trying to take away my Ambien. She's very granola and whatever with her. So that is kind of a bummer. Hopefully we won't talk about any of that. We're just going to talk about what's going on and what the heck is wrong and why I feel like H-E double hockey. Well, I've already said hell. Why I feel like hell and all of that stuff. Okay, it's been six minutes of just running my mouth. Today I'm wearing, I'm not wearing the t-shirt I wanted to wear. I ended up wearing this for me, it's an oversized sweatshirt with all the little conversation hearts. And these are some new Timu jeans that I grabbed out of a bag last night. I did find the t-shirt I was looking for if you caught my video yesterday. But then I decided it wasn't appropriate for work today and I was late. So I threw on this hat. What else is new? But it's casual day, so that's okay. So here's the shirt I wanted to haul. I've been trying to haul, but I haven't been able to find it. And I finally found it in this bag. It made me laugh. You've maybe seen it on Timu. It's V is for, and they've crossed out Valentine and put vodka. <laughs> it is awesome. So I got it in an extra large, and I originally was going to wear this today with jeans, and I just thought it was funny, and I thought other people would think it was funny, but then with my luck, I would have had to interact with like a member of the public or something, and that's just not, even if it's casual day, I mean, that's just not appropriate. So I didn't wear it to work. I might wear it tomorrow, though, or Sunday, so you might see it on me. You should, because I'm, you know, I only have a few days left. What else is in this bag? We also had a Mardi Gras cake at work. And I got the slice of cake that had the little baby in it. We, got a, we had a king cake, a Mardi Gras king cake. And I got the slice that had the little baby in it. Now, if you don't know what a Mardi Gras king cake is, it's like a very colorful cake. It's also called an epiphany cake in some places and there's a little baby hidden in it and if you find the cake you for, well if you find the baby in your slice of cake which I did first of all you've got to supply the cake the next year but second of all your king or queen for the day which nothing really happened to me spectacularly because of that. And then third of all, um, it you have good luck and prosperity for the coming year. So yay, that was exciting too. I found the baby, the little baby. Okay, um, so there's all that. I'm trying to pull up my orders because I forgot to do that. You guys are not surprised. And I don't know if I'm going to give you guys prices because... I don't know, Luna's right down here under, Luna's just made herself very comfortable right under my thigh, and I'm trying not to smash her. Let me at least get to V is for vodka, so I can tell you, because I think this whole bag is V is for vodka stuff. Now, not all V is for vodka, but I think this is that order. Okay, V is for vodka. I paid $7.59 for it, and it's now $8.49. And I love that t-shirt. There's cat hair in my nose. Yeah, I look wrecked. I look tired. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry I look so tired and wrecked, but I feel kind of tired and wrecked. 
But I want to thank Crazy Mimi Yup and Favors with Laura for the Valentine. I feel like such a jerk because I have all these Valentine's plans in my head and now there's no way I can get things to people by Valentine's Day, which is Wednesday. Maybe if I hustle and grind, I can get it in Monday and by some miracle, these things will get across the country to by Wednesday, but oh no, but I don't think so. Okay. So you guys remember some of you, and if you're new to my channel, you're probably gone by now because of all the talking. But um if you're returning, thank you for returning. And you guys remember the order that Timu said was lost and so they refunded the whole order. Well then I bought a few things from that order again because I wanted them again. So this is that, um, is it Pusheen? I don't know the name of this cat. Um, well, I already have this bag because then Timu did not lose my order and they sent it to me. So this is going to go in a giveaway uh, box for my, we're almost at, we're almost, we're creeping toward 12,000 subscribers, which is exciting. And I don't know how much that costs. It is not in this order, but we'll get to that. Okay, the next thing is a pair of pants. That is also not in this order. Great. Okay, well, they look promising. They look very dressy just from the plastic. I wanted a pair of dressy gray pants. They feel a little Kmarty for those of you who remember Kmart. They. I already see some strings hanging off of them. That's all right. What do we expect? It's too new. Here's the little piece of tissue paper. Okay, so let's look at them. Ah, uh, they're, whoa, I can see through. I can see you guys through two layers. So you're gonna have to watch your undergarments under this. And the front is cute. It's got a couple of buttons. Now, how easy are they to unbutton in a hurry? Is that something that's important to me these days? I'm not, I'm trying to get this cat hair out of my nose. Can I get these pants unbuttoned in a hurry? Not with nails. Anyway, so they, but they've got two buttons and they're black buttons, thankfully. They're not brown buttons or something weird like that. So that's good. There are two little pockets on the front. Okay. And then the back has got, as you can see, as I turn it, maybe you can see how see-through. They they feel like a little linen-y and a little not linen-y. I don't know, they like a touch of linen in them or something. Here are the back pockets and yeah, I mean, here are the legs. And wow, they are see-through. I can't get over how see-through they are. I can't get over how see-through they are. I mean, you're going to have to eat, wear like a G-string, like what do you call it, a Y-string, where everything is pretty much a string under these, or you could wear black tights under these, and boots, oh, that's what I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to do, okay, let's look at that, um, what in the world is this made out of? Hand wash dry. I think not. I'm just kidding. It says gentle cycle. They are 100% polyester. Um, tomorrow I'm going to get my try on space officially set up so I can start trying things on and showing them to you on my body. That's a goal. You might not see me on here tomorrow. I might take it easy tomorrow. I need some sleep and I need to rest. I need to get my new Mac set up that I got and I need to, yeah, get my try on space set up. I got some chores and some things I have to do, some housekeeping type things in the literal and figurative sense. And, um, 
So I might take a break tomorrow. That cat, uh, blah, 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 blah. What am I trying to say? That cat, that little cat, it's a pencil case. It's a makeup case. It's whatever kind of case you want it to be. That is, um, where are my glasses? 548. Yeah, it's still 548. And I don't know where these pants, I, I do want to know what I paid for those pants. Pants. There's me. Are those the pants? Those are the pants. Okay, these pants are solid flap pocket pants. I got them in a large 810, $14.49. And here's what the, oh, there's the hair like in my nose. Okay, here's what they look like on the model. Nice. They look cute. I mean, they could look could be life-changing or they could not. Okay. Next, I got another one of these little milk tea plushies. I have no idea why. Because I thought it was cute. And I thought they came with little boba balls in them. Hold on, let's open it and check it out. Because in one picture, it looked like it came with a bunch of little boba balls in it. And I thought, all right, this is the last time I'm going to wipe my nose. I'm just trying to get, there's a, like, I can feel a cat hair. I should start this over. Like waving around in the breeze when I breathe. In my nose. And if you have cats, you know. I'm not going to say if you know, you know. But I mean, if you have pets. You know that sometimes they shed and their hair gets everywhere, including up your nose. Okay, no, this doesn't open up with little balls in it. But Loki is going to really love to play with this. Or if not, I'm going to really love to throw it on top of my pile of plushies that are eventually going to get donated. Okay, Jeez. Oh, my nose is all red from rubbing it. Here, should we smile? We need some kind of a thumbnail. Hello. Here, I'll hold up both and it'll be like, cats galore. All of my thumbnails are so cheesy. They're just me posing with things. They're not dynamic. They're not action-packed. Action-packed? I don't know. Somebody, I, I always get these people who, uh, these like freelance editors who critique my channels and yeah they say they're not my thumbnails are not action-packed and no they're not and I'm sorry I wish they could be action-packed let me just see if I can actually see the actual hair I don't see it I can feel it All right, it'll be like, remember that one haul she did where she just wouldn't stop messing around with her nose? What is she on? Was she doing something? Uh-oh, it's a little blue box. Could be anything. I don't think it's moissanite, thankfully. It doesn't have a GRA card. Am I recording? Okay. And... They are little lemon earrings for, once again, I might wear these on our lemonade stand day, which is to raise money for pediatric cancer awareness. And we, other businesses and neighborhoods and families all over the city will all have lemonade stands that day. Is it going to break people's heart if I throw this away? I feel like the part of me wants to keep it to put someone else's thing in it. But part of me is like, just don't. Just throw it away. Just throw it away. I'll keep it for now. I have a garbage bag here. Let me throw that stuff in there. 
Yeah, my nose is still itching like there's something in it. Either somebody's talking about me, thinking about me, wanting to... What is it when your nose itches? Somebody's thinking about you, talking about you, wishing you harm. I don't know. I guess it depends on who you ask. Now, look at this. Let's do a what I ordered versus what I got. Okay, of course what I ordered looks exotic and exciting on the model. I don't know what I got yet, but we'll find out. Now, let me pull this picture up for you so we can I can show it to you. Do I really have to go all the way back up here? Yes, I do. Okay, here's what I ordered. It is $11.19 now. It is a long turtleneck. Sorry about the fingerprints all over my phone with flowers. I'm trying to get it away from the glare. It's really pretty. I thought it could look cool. It's long, kind of have a handkerchief hem. And I thought it could look cool over various pants or even leggings. It's a mock turtleneck. So here's what I got. Let's see. Let's first do the feel test and see how, okay, it feels really soft. It doesn't feel shiny like a scuba suit. So there's that. It feels like cotton. What is it made of? Here, let me scroll down through the bottom of this order description and see what they say it's made out of. It's made out of. Wore it to dinner the other night and was asked where I purchased it by two different people. Yeah, okay. It's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Okay. All right. Um, the, the flowers are a little iron-on feeling. Like, ironed it on right there in customs, even. Okay, so... The Luna... All right, so here it is. It is long, just like the bottom. It's cut. It's not. A, it's cut on a slant, on a diagonal at the bottom, and it does have a turtleneck. So this will be one of those things that I'll have to just try on and see if it looks weird or if it looks really cool. It could go either way. It could look really weird or it could look really cool. Now. I do regret getting it. I think I got it in an XL. Yeah, I did. And I maybe should have gotten it in an L. But I just didn't know really what it was going to do or what it was all about. But it's 11 bucks, And it's pretty. I will have to see what that looks like on XL. Uh, I should have gotten an L. Okay, the next thing in here is, oh, if I would have just opened this earlier, I would have put this in Rachel, who contacted me uh, today. So she is getting her Valentine. No, she's, can she's candles. I'm sorry. Jenny, I had already sent off her Valentine's Day package, but I would have put this in here because this is now the second t-shirt I have that is... Um, that says I because I ordered it again that says my valent that says tacos are my valentine on it and it's in a 2xl and I will put this in a giveaway or donate it but I'm going to keep it in the bag if you think like it'll be way late if I put it in a giveaway Tacos are my Valentine. It'll be funny for next Valentine's Day, though. Or I will just put it in the donation box that people are coming next week to pick up. Donation box, donation bags, hundreds of them. Tacos are my Valentine. Okay, I know I have more than clothes in here. What is this? It is, thank you very much for letting us in your special moments, perfect, packed for you with love. Okay, that's nice. Thank you. And this is, 
Have we just hauled clothes so far and some earrings? This also has a little card in it with a heart cut out. And it says, Happy Valentine's Day. My love is just for you. Okay, it has some little Valentine's Day cards. Oh, it has a lot. It has like best mom ever or but then on the back it says mom you're going to be an amazing mother so okay that would go to a pregnant person this one says dad dad no matter how much time passes you will always be my hero what is this and this card says it just has three gifts on it and it says, best wishes to you on the back. This is, I, I didn't order these, like, two hearts, my best friend. Wishing you peace, love, and joy this Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. And... What is in there? Oh, oh, okay. It's a card holder. It's a credit card holder, but it was nice of them to give some little cards to put in the slots if you don't have 8 million credit cards, which I don't. But this is, I love wallets, but I try not to hoard them. But Timu is making it hard. So this is a, a wallet and or something i don't know it unsnap here it's got um, let me get it what what is it doing okay it unsnaps so you put your id in here obviously you can put some cards in here and then you can put all these cards in the slots in the back and then you can put another id in here and you can put even more cards in these slots here and then you can unzip the tap it's like you guys know how wallets work and yeah simply jessica marie is rubbing off on me because i got it in leopard print i think you can get other okay you can unzip the top of this and put money or bills or whatever you want in there and it's, I liked that it was really thin, but I just, I only have one credit card. I, I don't have any other credit cards. I've got one credit card, but I've got a health insurance card and I've got a, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, do I need it? Not really. And then this. Oh, no, I thought this was a clip if you wanted to, like, clip it on your belt. But, no, this is the sna a snap. So, cool. Okay, you can use it as a keychain <laughs> or something. I mean, it's got a little keychain there if you want to hang it off. Okay, well, that was nice of them to put so many little cards in in case you... So, you could just fill up those slots with nice little cards. If you're not, you know, rolling with a bunch of credit cards. I remember one time, you know how when you're in college, the credit card people try really hard to get you when you're young and in college and fresh. And I think I had something like, oh my gosh, I had a credit card for every department store. I had a credit card for like Victoria's Secret, the Disney store, you name it. Back then, there was a store called the, the Limited. I had a limited credit card. I had, or Express or something, one of those. Then I had, you know, every MasterCard, <laughs> Discover, Visa, you name it, man. It was crazy. And it took forever to pay all those off. And... Never again. I mean, that's when you descend into credit. You think it's great when you're young and you're like, oh, I can go shopping. I can get all this stuff. But then, ah, you find yourself way in over your head with monthly payments and it just gets overwhelming. Okay, that card holder 
is slim credit card holder eight seven no what six seventy eight and it you can get it in so many patterns you guys you can get it in um like a man mandala pattern you can get it in i mean there's like a thousand of them i kind of like this black with the white daisies on it that's really cute and wait a minute oh yeah it's got two things okay it's got a little hook right here if you want to hook it on a d-ring and then it's got this if you need a keychain okay comes in leopard print it comes with strawberries on it it comes with little roses comes with like a chanel looking vibe and there's some more crazy like 80s leopard print and tie-dye and more mandala or peacock or whatever you want to call that or you could just get basic brown or you could get dark brown or cream or green or gray or really cream or khaki or Tiffany green, blue, pink, purple, dark purple, red. It never stops. It never stops. They're the burgundy, black. Okay, we're done. I can't do any more. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, so $6.78 for that. Okay, I'm trying to get things that aren't clothes. There are a lot of clothes in here, but this is Water Z and Water Bottle. Okay. Why did I want it? Because I'm thirsty a lot. I'm, one thing I'm curious to see is if I'm pre-diabetic or diabetic or what's going on with my blood sugar or what. Because... And I'm also like always thirsty, but this is really pretty, this gradient rose, and it says water Z, and it's a nice, I mean, I think that's how you say it, water Z, water C, water C, needs to, you know, be rinsed out, but there it is, and there's the lid, and it looks spiffy carrying it around, I mean, it doesn't have a, you know what I need to look for is a, not a holster. Is that what you would call? Ooh, Alex, she always scares me. He always scares me when he does that. Um, is that what you would call it? A holster? I don't know. A carrier for my water bottle? Okay. Ooh, it... That sounds cool. Okay. Sorry. I woke up the Luna. Okay. I wonder how much that cost. I'm going to look. It's not in that order. So I got the baby and the king cake. That was excited. Exciting. Not, it's not going to be exciting next year when I'm frantically trying to find a New Orleans king cake. I better order it way in advance for the office. But it kind of... Kind of when they were like, oh, you got to get it next year for the office. It kind of made me get this warm, fuzzy feeling like... Oh, yay. Yeah, I hope I will still be employed here next year. You know, because jobs are so, you never know, you know. So, if they try to lay me off or get rid of me or something, if something goes down, I'll be like, no, man. it's my, I'm bringing the king cake for Mardi Gras next year. You can't let me go. That'll be what my protest. Okay, that insulated water sea water bottle. I paid eight oh nine, and it's now five dollars and fifty nine cents. Wow, that's a big Super Bowl deal. They have these big game deals now, um, and you can get it, of course, in all the colors of the rainbow. So there's that. Next in here, how are we doing on time? You guys, last night it took two hours for my video to process and upload. Did I get another fuzzy shirt? What is the matter with me? Oh, no. 
We are done with the cold weather pretty much here where I live. Don't I already have this, Luna? You guys, I already have this hoodie. Right? I absolutely already have this thing. Maybe I don't. With the kangaroo pouch, yeah? I don't know. Oh, well. That's fine. Oops. If I do, somebody will love it. Oh, it's so cozy. Makes me feel better after a long kind of traumatizing day where I thought, where I learned, oh my gosh, I really am kind of sick. Like, you know how you don't feel good and you don't feel good, but you think maybe it's just kind of psychosomatic or maybe it's my, um, not psychosomatic, but you just think maybe I'm just a little depressed and I'm manifesting it into physical symptoms and blah, blah, or maybe I just don't feel like going to work and so I'm kind of make, talking myself into feeling sick kind of thing. Well, but then today when like the that test turned all the colors of the rainbow kind of, I was like, oh, wait a minute, there really is something wrong with me. Okay, solid teddy bear textured hoodie XXL in apricot. I paid $10.49 for it and it is now $12.97 and I swear I already own this or something really similar to it. Not to mention the one I wore early, uh, was it Monday that I wore another one earlier this week? Or Tuesday or Wednesday or something. I don't know. It all blends into one day. All right. I kind of want to like. Mm hmm. Jeez. Look at my warm and cozy. Looking greasy. Look at my warm and greasy Timu haul. Guess what I have right here. Candy Bella. Hold a minute please. The makeup man would like a moment with me. It's magic. Watch the magic happen. Wow. It amazes me every time. I prefer to put it on with my finger. No shine. All right. Lips, okay. Cheese. That looks dumb. I don't know. I'm probably going to go with that cat one. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Speaking of water, do you guys mind if I take a sip of mine? Must stay hydrated. Okay. My mom is feeling better today, thankfully. She did cancel her doctor's appointment again. But I'm too tired to get angry with her. Okay, what is this? Whatever this is got taped to the inside of the bag. Oh, did I just break a nail? Okay. Oh, it's another... This is another antique cigarette case, but it's plastic and I got it not for cigarettes, just for lipsticks or whatever, business cards, but excuse me for a minute, I thought that water was going to come back up. Looks like this. It's not as cool as that silvery one, but it's got a cool blue dragon on it. Yeah, cheese. All right. I mean, it's a pretty case. It's totally plastic. Whatever I paid for it was too much because this is about a dollar. I mean, this is like dollar store type, dollar store type stuff we're talking here. So I'm about to rage if I paid, if I paid $8, I'm going to get upset. 
please tell me I only paid like $3 for that. What if I paid like 12? If you know what? If I if I did, you know what? If I did, I'm going to get in touch with Timu and I'm going to say this is so cheap. You totally 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 um tried to pull one over on me. Three dollars and eighty one cents and I got a and I got a price adjustment. It's now three fifty nine. Okay, good. Three dollars. I was like, okay, three dollars is fine. I was afraid he was gonna say eight or twelve or something. Okay, this is 40 minutes and 57 seconds. Something really uh, like spongy. So are these leggings? Why do I keep buying leggings? Or no, no. You know what this is? This is a turtleneck. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. This is a turtleneck with fleece inside because I'm I want to be cold and then warm well it says fleece. I mean yeah you can see the fleece inside it's not furry furry fleece but yeah okay I thought I could wear this turtleneck with a lot of things and I thought it was interesting that it was lined like that so sure nice I'll wear it with those gray pants. Look a little spiffy. This bag over here, I'm saving bags. I don't know why. That mock neck thermal underwear is what it's called. Is eight thirty six, and it's now seven eighty eight. And I mean, here's the model. I'm gonna walk around the office doing that too with a stomach that does not look anywhere close to that flat. But I used to have a stomach that flat and I miss it terribly. Okay, so that's a good price, you guys. Six bucks, is that what I just said? Seven eighty-eight for that? And it goes up to size XL and it starts at size S um XS. And you can get it in black, light brown, which is like a khaki color. Or you can get it in, here's what it looks like on the back. See, from the back, it just looks like a normal, cute, tur you know, a little turtleneck that you would wear with your little schoolgirl skirt or whatever she has on. And you can get it in, why didn't I get it in beige? I'll try it in black. And if I like it, I'll get it again in beige. Just look demure with your little, okay. I think we finished that order. No, we did not. There's more stuff in here. The milk tea stuffed boba tea. I paid $7.48 for that and it's still $7.48. And almost sold out. Okay. <laughs> this is a stress reliever. Fun face emotion ball scented. You don't get to pick the color. $3.39. It is now sold out. Oops, sorry about that. It's a, it's a, it's a face you can squish. Why do I smell it? I don't know, because I don't trust it. Because it's got gunk all over it, kind of. What is that stuff? Ugh. It's a little face. Ew. Ooh, is it going to pop? 
Well, you can just sit around and squish it. Nice. No one will know what that is if that's my thumbnail. This Timu haul is squishy. Um, I think that three dollars and thirty nine cents is a little pricey for this. This is another Dollar Tree type thing that really only pay about it you should really only pay about a doll i can't stop doing it it's addictive okay stop it they do have more squishy things they're just, they're just sold out of those faces okay what else is in here what else is in here what else is in here i bought this again the Gemini stones, if you, this was in that original order that we thought was lost, but then it wasn't. But before we found out it wasn't lost, I had already bought some of the things twice. The Gemini stones, turquoise, tiger eye, and citrine. This will go, I don't know, to my Geminis out there. I'll find a Gemini, put those in there. Okay, the next thing that's in here. I'm trying to find everything that's in this order so then we can move on with our life. And then, of course, um, got this twice again, too. This little pill case. Blingy pill case. So that will go in a giveaway. And... And then, of course... I got this again, with which is the letter E, for my name, Erin, with the little straw toppers and an E charm for my uh, Stanley Cup dupes. But the good thing is I've got a lot of Stanley Cup dupes, so sure, it's okay to have both of those. Okay, the next thing, just in time for Valentine's Day. Now, I have one kind of like this, but a little bit different, and it gets a lot of compliments. This big statement-making heart necklace that you don't need to wear just on Valentine's Day. You can wear it all year round. Okay. Our computers were all, our network was still down today. And um, the guy I share an office with and I, we just like watched horror, horror shorts, horror movie shorts and stuff on um, his laptop. I mean, like, and he's 20 something or 30, maybe he just turned 30. I don't know. I think I'm older than his mom. So it wasn't you know like that it's just we were both kind of like we couldn't do any work so we just kind of so this is cool so work was kind of has been like that all week just coming to work and so it hangs way down so imagine it over this black fleecy turtleneck see there you go that's gonna look cool cool like that cool like that I rock like that I roll like that I'm hip like that okay yeah that's what I'm that's the kind of look I'm looking for okay so that necklace is 339 was 339 it's now 448 and I really like it I think it will look good over solid colors this chaos going on right here, right now, not so much. I think that's that order. Exquisite vintage. Oh. Then I got these little heart earrings. Exquisite vintage heart design earrings. They really are pretty. I would have, um, I just got these in the mail from Crazy Mimi. 
but I was wearing my moissanite hoops and I would have worn these today. Those are really pretty. Well, I would want them to go the other what the other directions, but you get the juice. I would want this one to be pointing out. Never mind. I would be picky. Pretty though. Those are really pretty. Okay, I love those. That those are I paid $179 for them and they are now $159. And they actually kind of look nothing like the picture makes them look like they're really blingy with a little, but they're not though. They're, I don't think I didn't really want them to be really blingy. They're not as blingy as the, I mean, yeah, they got a little bling. Okay. But they're not like it. This looks, I was afraid these were going to be over the top, but they're not. They're perfect. So cool. All right, what is it, 51 minutes? The next thing in here is this Cure t-shirt again, because I ordered it again when I thought my order was lost. Now, did I get it in gray or did I, no, I got it in blue again. Okay, so this will be a giveaway item for someone who loves the Cure. Um, coming up soon. Although it does look like it's been kind of crammed in this bag. Yes, it says the Cure. And it is a size XXL. Yeah. And it's this blue, another Cure t-shirt. So we got two extra t-shirts now. I'm kind of... Uh, I wish I wouldn't have ordered them again, but I really thought the order was lost and I wanted that. It's happening here. And I wanted that Cure t-shirt. Now I'm stuck on this song called Pictures of You. But what is ha- What? Oh no! I made it worse! What's happening? You know what? You know what? My dad, I just always laugh because my dad, my dad just used to always be like, you know what? And then he'd have to say it again. He'd say it normally first and he'd be like, he'd, he'd go, you know what? And then he'd go, you know what? Or if he'd been overserved, he, um, you know what? Bless his heart. Like, I don't know. I miss, I would give anything to hear that you know what again, as annoying as it was at the time. The time, you know, it was annoying. It was like, Dad, could you just stop stumbling around saying, you know what? But now I would give anything to hear, you know what? All right. I got a belt. I don't know why. To go with those gray pants? No. I don't... Why, though? I mean, yeah, they're fine. Belts are good things to have. Oh, it's got a... Um, all right, let me get it out of the snaky, snaky. Luna is fast asleep. And Loki is fast asleep on my legs. What does this look like? Well, it just looks like a typical silver. Is that silver or black or blackish silver? E, I don't know, buckle. And then this. And. Okay. I mean, maybe was it like a lightning deal for like 10 cents? Or was I just feeling like I needed a belt? Or. Was I in like a belty kind of a mood and see if I would have had a shopping journal. If I would have been keeping a shopping journal, I would know now why I got a belt then. It's fine. 
I mean, it's always good to have them around and I, I just want to know really what I paid for it. Oh, wait. You know what? I, that's not it. Is it there? No. Is it? Oh, there. We're in this order now? Okay. Price adjustment? No. You know what? Vintage Hollow Out PU Belts. One size fits all black, $2.96. And you can get them in a, an array of colors. And I don't know. I maybe, well, right, also in this order are those gray pants. So, yeah, I might have gotten them to go with those gray pants. I might have gotten it to go with those gray pants. Okay. I got these again. Because these were from that order that we thought was lost. But then it turned out not to be lost. But I went ahead and got things twice. Because I thought it was lost. And then last in here is... Are these earrings... that are unique, hollow, water drop design, silvery earrings. And they are hoops that look like this. And they, sure, they're nice, you know, kind of everyday earrings. They look a little different. Very cool. All right, well, I think that is the end of this bag. And it's been an hour. How big is this bag? Would it take another hour? Yes, it would take another hour. I was about to start on this bag. Because I, I'm not ready to stop. But um, there's no way we would beat, uh, we would beat Timu train and more if I tried to do this bag too. But what I do want to do is open it and just take a peek in it. Maybe I'll just take a few things out and see what this one is and then save the rest. Well, I'm trying to find my scissors, but I'm all bundled up under this teddy bear. Oh, here are my scissors. Okay, let's, let's open this and just see like which, what in the world like this order is. And let me start right here because it feels pretty packed and I don't want to accidentally cut something I'm not supposed to. Here comes the wrecking ball. He came in like a wrecking ball. It was really, really bad off key. Okay, I see some pajamas that I'm not going to wear tonight. I see a clipboard and some shoes. Okay, yeah. All right, we're going to do these on another day, but sticking out right here, I'll just pull this out, is another, I got another craft bag because I'm, I've got enough crafting supplies now to fill up two bags. So I got this craft bag for, gosh, everything's loud and crinkly. This craft bag was not made for children. What am I gonna do tonight? I'm, I bought, I got a new book. I forgot, I think it's called Everyone Who Can Forgive Me is Now Dead or something. I don't know, I'll let you know when I start reading it what it's called. But maybe I'll read a book, I'll watch a movie, I'll watch a documentary, I'll watch something. I'm not going to eat another apple. 
I had two apples. I really tore through those Mrs. Prendable's caramel covered apples. Uh oh. I don't like it when I hear a crash. What I'm really trying to find is what order this was. Here it is. Oh, these are just bips and bobs. Bibs and bops. Bops and bips that are left over from other orders. Meaning, like, when they split up other orders and they put them in different packages. Never mind. Um, this thing was $5.57. It's not as nifty as my other one but it's made of canvas and it's got pockets all around both sides and a lot of here i'm gonna open it And then I'm almost done with Timu orders, meaning I haven't put any in. I put a big order in today, and that's it. Like, I got to watch my Timu orders a little bit and not go nuts with them because we need a dishwasher. Okay, um, yeah, it's not as... The other one has compartments. Like, you get what you pay for, kind of. Like, I have one like this that's a little more exciting. I mean, that's got compartments in it and things, I think. But these are all little pockets that go all the way around it. And it's fine. I mean, for $5, sure, it'll be great to put my crafts and stuff in. Okay, you guys, we will do these. Um, if not tomorrow, then... No, Sunday I have to do a try I have to do a try on video. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get bored and come back tonight and do another one of these. There's nothing I mean I can't is there anything I'm dying to have in here. No. No. Okay, we'll get back to this one. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys know I love and appreciate you so much. I don't know what I'm going to use for a thumbnail. I'm sorry you didn't really get to see the cats. Luna is down here fast asleep. Like, can I even get her on the camera? No, I can't. She's like off to the side right here asleep. All right, I want to thank, again, um, Crazy Mimi Yup and Favorites with Laura for the Valentine's. It was so nice of you guys. And I want to thank all of you guys for watching and subscribing. Please check to make sure you're still subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you over here. We're usually a lot of fun. I usually don't spend six minutes talking about my plumbing, meaning my plumbing. Or the plumbing downstairs, for that matter. And we usually have a lot of fun here. And sometimes there's some cat chaos. But anyway, I'd love for you to stick around. If you're not subscribed, it'd be, it'd be great. It would be a blessing. And to those of you who always come back, thank you so much for always coming back. And I love and appreciate you guys so much. And I hope that you have a great evening is what it is here or morning or afternoon or whenever you're watching this. And I, I hope you have a great weekend. All right, you guys, I will talk to you soon. And how do we stop this thing?